Galactic sentient broadcast. Target, planet Earth. Begin invasion in three, two, one. Greetings, invaders. My name is Scott. This is Book Invasion. Thanks for joining me in my dark underworld cave. I'm here because we're here to talk about the underworld and talk about the book The Border Keeper by Kirsten Hall. A lyrical underworld narrative that begins around a desolate, near-forgotten border to the land of the dead. A Seth, a man with a troubled past, comes to seek a favor from a woman who is not what she seems. With her aid, he enters the 999 realms of Emkalis, the world of spirits where gods and demons wage an endless war. What Viseth discovers in Amcalis threatens to bring his own secrets into light and throw both worlds into chaos. Uh, Kirsten Hall is an author from Cape Town, South Africa, which was surprising to me. Her stories have appeared in Strange Horizons, uh, the publication, but I think this is her first novella. And The Border Keepers is, is a dark mythical fantasy story about a, a, a witch, so to speak, who kind of guards the borders between the 999 demonic realms and the, I guess, the present existing human, human realm. And the border keeper has gone by many names in her many hundreds, there are thousands of years uh, of existence. And so she's lived many lives. She's been through the underworld and uh, and she's conquered some of the underworld realms. You'll see some of that in the story. Um, so there's a, a man named Viseth who our story opens up with. So Viseth is on a journey to meet the border keeper. We don't know what his intentions are. So he goes to the border keeper and we find out that he needs to kind of find somebody to track somebody down and only the border keeper can help. So the story unfolds as, as kind of a journey um, into this other world. And in this realm, this is where kind of the world building shines, but also it only gives you a tease of what the world could be like. So out of all these realms in this world, you only get to see maybe like two or three of them, but you get to know that this universe is vast. This underworld is, is very vast and these realms all differ in uh, ecology and, and the demons that live within them. There are lots of creatures and there are lots of undead things that are haunting around these realms that you encounter on Viseth and Eris. Eris is the name of the witch on their journeys through this. And I thought it was really interesting the way that the world building took place in these realms that they go to. And I really wanted to get more of this world. I wanted to get through all of 999 of these realms to see the kings of these realms because there are rulers to each one to see kind of the demons and their demonic armies that they that they have and maybe the culture within these realms and who kind of lives or exists in these realms. I really wanted to get more of that, but the one, the pieces that we did get in the story were really fantastic. There, there's these surreal and grotesque kind of abominations that, that are floating around these realms. You don't really know what the rules are. Uh, and when you're traveling among these realms, you cannot tell a lie. You cannot lie and you cannot eat or drink from the realms or else you'll, your soul will stay there. Um, so while you're traversing these realms, your physical body is essentially back on Earth, but your soul inhabits a vessel to travel through these demonic realms, which is really cool. So there's a bit of a, a witchcraftian touch. There are, are wards that the border keeper has to keep out the ageless, uh, so to speak, that are trying to cross through the, the border. And just the way that this story plays out, there there's a lot of deceit, there's a lot of trust and, and friendship is, issues, there's a, a, a tale of revenge, there's a seeking a lost loved one, there's kind of a, an upholding of reputations between these rulers and the border keeper who's kind of known amongst all of these realms is kind of the, not the head honcho, but she's got a reputation that she can kick some ass around. Uh, 
uh, in these places. You kind of get a hint of that. You don't know what her true powers are, but she's like, you know, I could snap my fingers and eliminate you from being. She kind of threatens that here and there. So when you have like a, a, a frustrated witch traveling with this nomadic person, Viseth, and you are not really sure what his intentions are, the combination of that into a world where you don't know what's going on and your the main character doesn't really know what's going on. He's kind of being guided by this short-tempered witch who doesn't really want to explain anything. She's just like, just shut up and do what I say. So you never really get a fully a full understanding of, of the of these realms, which I think was kept me glued into the book more than not, uh, because I always wanted to get to know more of where they're going and what the place looks like and what's what things they see and how those things act. I really love that aspect of learning about all of those things of the realm. So this this novella I thought was really awesome. It was really great. It it captured you into this new these new realms of being and this story traverses you through those. And it was short, but it packs a whole lot. There's a whole lot to digest in such a short book that this book could go on for a multitude of, of longer series. So I thought the surrealism between this, the kind of the dark and mysterious, the, a little bit of grotesque, these these demons, the way they interact with each other, and just this whole world and the way the border works and who's there. And throughout the book, there's some battles. And so there's 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 people getting beat up and that, the violence since there's a bit of action in, in throughout all this stuff. So it's not just like they're going from point A to point B. There's, there's point A to find something out. And once they find something else, they have to battle their way back um, and not to screw it up and don't leave the guy alone or else somebody else is going to go on and who, what their really motives are. And I'm now I'm just rambling. Now the border keeper was a review copy that I got from, uh, from recorded books, I believe. So, uh, thank you recorded books for the review copy of this. Um, I picked it out of, of the list that they had and I really wanted to dive into it. I thought it was excellent and it was short read. It was very, deep and and very viscous I guess you could say um, in the way that this world is built and I really enjoyed it I would I would I'm really going to keep an eye on more from Kirsten Hall the author and see what she has see what other items she has to put out so that's my quickie review from my underworld cave here Um, I hope you enjoyed it that was the border keeper by Kirsten Hall thanks for watching everybody I'll see you next time bye-bye